So this is what it looks like when I am at home from work. I'm actually technically working from home, but I'm also sick, so I could be having a sick day as well. I have been um, binge watching Pretty Little Lies on Netflix, and for some reason my Netflix just randomly up in the middle of something, and it just decides to cut out on me, and then it jumps back like an episode. So then I have to go in and realize, oh, hey, you are actually two episodes ahead, like there. And then started again. I don't know why it just stopped in the middle of it, but it did. And it's really annoying. But I'm really enjoying Pretty Little Liars. I, um, oh, bugger. I hadn't watched any of it really bar the first half of the first season, like to the mid season finale where Hannah gets like hit by the car. Um, and then I never saw anything again. So I decided to restart watching it and now I'm at the second episode of season three and my house is freezing, freezing cold right now. So I have like 10 like layers of clothing on. I have my big oversized um, <coughs> jumper from Victoria's Secret, which I love, and then some um, tights and my Ugg boots and then this jacket from Forever New and then my scarf which is from H&M, and seriously, I'm this close to putting on gloves, like this close. I just, it's, it's ridiculous, and I can't believe that I'm sick again. I literally just got over being sick, well, it's actually a little while ago now, but I don't know, it's like for me, I have one big weekend or one time where I'm out late in the night air and all of a sudden I'm sick. I've got that thing where your throat, it hurts to swallow, but you want to swallow and at the same time it hurts so much you just like want to like scratch your own throat out. Like it's just it's ridiculous and I hate it. And all oh, something bad just happened. I should be paying attention. Maybe I should have paused that. Pause. Pause. Paused. And my dad's outside. Um lawn mowing, whipper snippering, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. I'm going to get back to my emails, but I just thought I would turn the camera on and maybe vlog a day at home. I'm having a shake for breakfast, which I decided to put in a Santa mug because, yeah, you know, that's what I do. I also have my lemon water inside my um, Starbucks coffee cup, which I think is hilarious because I usually carry it to work in the morning and people just think that I'm probably like one of the masters carrying my coffee to work when in actual fact I'm just having lemon water because I don't drink coffee. Which is a good thing because I'm doing this like cleanse thing for 30 days, detox, whatever to try and see how like one of the things you're supposed to do is give up coffee and alcohol and I gave up coffee because I don't ever drink it and I don't, like I drink alcohol and I'm, I'm 26 years old so it's totally fine that I do but I don't drink a ton so it's not really that difficult for me to give alcohol up, if you know what I mean. So I'm trying to just to drink 100% water and my shakes, although to be honest these ones taste to me like banana chocolate cake batter which I mean, you'd think would be okay, but drinking it as a drink is not particularly appealing. I don't know, it just, I don't like it as much as my other ones, so I'm hoping that over the course of a month I will get used to it. I wanted to ask when you guys are sick, what um, like lozenges do you use when you have a sore throat? Because I have these ones at the moment, and I usually have like the strongest streps or ones that have like the numbing agent in it which is supposed to help but honestly I feel like those like they all just taste so horrible that sometimes like they make me feel sick and like they feel good when you're sucking on them and they numb your throat but then I find that within especially if I've got a particularly bad sore throat they um just like it disappears and I need to get, keep on sucking on them and I don't think you're supposed to I think like those ones specifically they say like every maybe like four to six hours or something like that. I do like butter menthols, but this is going to be like the world's most boring vlog. I'm just sitting here talking about cough lollies. Um, but I don't care because this is real life and this is what life is about. And this is supposedly what people are supposed to vlog about. Um, and I don't have any of those, but I'm going to send dad to get out to go get some of those. And I need some tissues as well because I'm starting to get a runny nose. For me, generally, like usually when I get the sore throat thing unless I have like strep throat or something that's 
like particularly a, a throat infection or something like that. The sore throat only lasts for me usually two days, about 48 hours, and then I move on to like the runny nose and the cough and the full on cold. And that's usually how I know that I'm getting sick because I'm like all of a sudden it hurts to swallow and then my throat gets so bad that I just, ugh. And yeah, it just goes on from there. Sorry, I feel like I must look like shit. <laughs> Anyway, if you do have any like sore throat remedies or recommendations, send them on my way because I'd really, really appreciate them. Taking a break from looking at my computer screen and what is the first thing I do? I look at another screen, look at my phone, I'm just checking Instagram notifications and there's photos from last night. Last night was really cool. I got to go out to dinner with the really, really cool Josh Collier makeup artist. I have watched these videos for so long, my camera just does not like my phone, apparently. It's like focusing on Sharon's face, and then it went again. Um, yeah, I've been watching his videos for ages, and he does really cool skincare stuff. And um, he kind of, he knew Karima from when she visited him in the US and he kind of contacted Sharon and said want to hang out and then us three have been wanting to hang out for a while so they invited me along it was really nice we got to meet his boyfriend Chris who was super cool it was just it was such a fun evening we went to um Frankie's Pizza which I hadn't been to before I'd heard of but hadn't um checked out but it was really cool really nice like a really casual vibe like you ate on paper plates the pizza was delicious and there was just like beer and cider and like fresh juices and things it was kind of a really an eclectic place but it was just fun to be able to talk about makeup and skincare and new york and youtubers that we watch and stuff like that it was it was really cool i ended up missing um my train by like two seconds so in the end i didn't get home until almost midnight which um, sucks, it's one of the the definite downsides of, oh my gosh, I need to sit up for a second because it's a really bad angle, um, the downsides of living so far away from the city if you want to go out after work or hang out, um, it means it's usually a late night and usually I end up like leaving um, early from a lot of things but I just wanted to hang out for as long as I could and in the end I probably could have hung out even longer because I missed my train. Um, but yeah, like things like that don't happen. They were only in Sydney for a couple of days. So I thought, why not? And I'm so glad that I got to meet him and meet his boyfriend and that we all got to hang out. It was just, it was really fun. And he's so, so knowledgeable. So if you want to know anything about skincare or just like beauty products and makeup in general, particularly like American brands, because he worked in Sephora, worked for Hourglass and a whole heap of other brands, definitely check out his channel he's he's amazing he kind of posts sporadically but all these videos are definitely worth worthwhile um but yeah that was a really cool night and i love that we have instagram and thick plate things like that just so that you can remember things by because otherwise when you just go out for dinner and stuff sometimes you forget to take um photos and things and a few of you have been commenting but yeah i also have a whole heap of new instagram followers so if any of these people are you Hi, thanks for following me on Instagram. I promise to try and post a bit more soon. I've been a little bit MIA on not only social media, but YouTube in general, and I still need to film a video about that, and maybe this video will even go up before that. So if that is the case, and this is just some random vlog of me talking to the camera while being sick, I apologize that this is the first video that I'm making coming back, but there's just been so much going on, and the I'm sure I'll repeat myself when I film the video eventually but the longer that you go without filming I find it's harder to get back into it and I've mentioned this before but I call it film fright like stage fright and I used the term in um I think it was like a, a video coming back after Christmas like a couple of years ago and I still remember it we were actually living in the rental house and Everyone was like, oh, but you know, you film videos all the time and it's like you've done it so much. How can you like be scared of it? And the funny thing is, is that you can, like it doesn't matter how much you do something. It's almost like the thought of it is, I don't know, like I'm feeling for whatever reason, like it's going to go bad and it's going to be stressful. And I mean, once I just sit down and turn the camera on, I'll probably be fine. But it's that thinking about it, the way that you build things up in your head makes things really difficult 
I think. Like, it, it's all in my mind. I know it's all in my mind, but I just... I mean, this is, this is this is where I sit and I do it all the time. I have this new makeup to show you and I want to be able to go through and show you guys some of what I got for my birthday because I had stuff put all, like to the side for ages to be able to show you that and some drugstore stuff and I've got like my March and April favourites that I kind of want to show you guys. Give you a sneak peek of some of the things. What have I got on here? Oh, I've been loving loving these awesome this too Ooh, it's like it's a little sneak peek but oh this is pretty too so like yeah there's just oh exciting anyway it's not that i don't want to film and that i don't want to talk to you guys it's just that i don't know i'm almost scared <laughs> it's i don't know how to describe it i really don't I promise I'll come back. I promise I'll do it soon. Although it's really crappy timing that I happen to get sick right when I fully planned on starting back on my YouTube channel again. Oh, such is life. <laughs> I'm just going downstairs to top up my water. Oh, laundry. That's slightly inappropriate to show on a YouTube video. I find that when I'm not feeling well. Actually, I just find a lot in general at the moment. I'm drinking so much water and I think because my throat hurts as well now I just feel like I constantly need something to soothe it I don't know if this is gross or not but I like leave my lemon wedges in all day and then just keep on topping up water on the top of that is that what everybody else does I don't know are you supposed to just like use them once and then chuck them out and start again I don't know I only use it for like the day and then at the end of the day I'll just take them out and cut a new half of a, a a lemon up each day but so good the pretty little liars binge is continuing and now i'm doing a little bit of vlogception i'm editing a vlog while vlogging the fact that i'm editing a vlog this is what this vlog has come to i'm sorry it's pretty terrible i don't really know what else to vlog this is pretty much probably going to be the end of my day i've done my work for the day and then I'm gonna edit this and maybe post it since I haven't posted anything for a little while I'm trying to get like used to editing again it, it took me a couple of seconds because it's been almost two months since I've edited anything because even like the last few videos that I posted I had pre kind of filmed and edited so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve but I'm almost thinking that vlogging is is easing me into filming normal videos again. I know that sounds silly because usually I think people would think that vlogging is almost harder and in public it probably is, but I feel like there's less pressure in vlogging purely because I know that I suck at vlogging. I'm not a great like follow me around vlogger, but I do it anyway sometimes because you guys seem to like it. But yeah, this has kind of been a pointless vlog because I've just been sick and my throat still is killing me and I'm really not doing anything of note because I can't exactly vlog me working. It's the same as me being at work but being here. So how can we, we relieve, how can we, how can we revive this vlog? Um, what can I talk about? What can I show you? Oh, okay. If you learnt anything from this vlog, buy Cards Against Humanity. It is a great game. Get a few friends around. It is so much fun. It is a party game for horrible people and I think we're all a little bit horrible inside and it is amazing. So, so funny. Also, did you guys know that Nutella comes in teeny tiny little jars? This was a gift from uh, at like a friend's wedding. It was like the little bombonaria, whatever you want to call it, like at your place setting. But it is awesome. Nutella in a jar. And something else I can tell you guys. Oh, you guys need to check out. You need to check out this candle. Smell it. Um, the glass house, birds of a feather candle. Why won't my camera focus? There we go. It smells amazing. The, the, the scent is pink sorbet, but it's kind of like watermelon and mango. It is amazing. Limited edition. Go check it out now. And I think this one is assisting uh, the J. McGrath Foundation uh, to do with breast cancer. Anyway, awesome candle. There we are. This vlog hasn't been a complete and total loss. I am going to go now 
and I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Hopefully I'll be feeling back to my normal self soon and I'm going to even maybe try vlogging again one more time maybe this week because I am meeting up with another YouTuber this weekend and maybe we'll vlog then but I'm not going to tell you about it. It's going to be a secret. You'll have to wait and see if it happens. Okay, I'm going now. Bye. I'm just sitting here watching the footage back right now and this really has been a, quite a pointless vlog. I'm going to apologise again, but I think I'm still going to post it anyway. Enjoy. If you sit to the end and you make it to this point, um, write popcorn somewhere in the comments so I know that you are a truly exceptionally special person because you made it right to the end. And I appreciate you and love you to no end. Seriously, big cyber hugs for sitting through this entire rambly, pointless vlog. Okay, I'm going. Just had to say that. <laughs>